Folks, can I please ask you not to leave gaps unless you've got someone still coming because we are going to be fairly tight today. So unless you're saving a seat from someone, please close up the gaps. Thank you. Um, is there a number of seats on the right hand side here at these in, end of these roads?
families if i can ask you to sh if if those seats aren't being saved can we shuffle into the middle please so people can access them those families who are just arriving if you'd like to sit up on this side you may it's not as great of you but you get that
Good morning, everyone. Thank you for your patience. We've got a uh, full house, obviously. If we get settled, uh, staff, there are some seats in front of the year 11s if you are looking for a seat as well. I invite uh, Deputy Principal for Teaching and Learning, Ms. Engove, to start the assembly. Good morning, everyone. It's wonderful to see you here. As Mr Ronan said, I'm Liana Angove. I'm the Deputy Principal of Teaching and Learning and this is my first valedictory assembly that I'm attending and it's a great privilege to be here. And I look forward to uh, seeing proceedings today and also at the valedictory mass and dinner tomorrow night. I would like to invite the college captain for 2023, Zaid Buckland, to come forward and lead the 2022 farewell assembly. Good morning staff, students and parents. A special welcome to Mrs Mary Rattel, Chair of the College Board, Father Michael McMahon OMI and Father Bill Oosley OMI. We also welcome Mr John Keogh, President of the Old Boys Association. Welcome everyone to the 2022 Farewell Assembly. I invite Riley North to deliver the acknowledgement of country. We commence today's assembly with an acknowledgement of country. We wish to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land we are meeting on, the Wadjuk people. We acknowledge and respect their continuing culture and the contribution they make in the life of this city and this region. Thank you, Riley. Please stand for the college anthem. Not a place of strength, but courage and love for which we stand. Our strong foundations represent the way we work. That's what you set us free. See you always, you deserve to be. To ever be faith and country true. As a new so let us pray that we be always sure we thank the Lord is love to be here it can be sound. Please be seated. I would now to I'd now like to invite Mark De Silva to lead the assembly in prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father God, how wonderful are the works of your hands. As we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences, let us not forget the blessings that follow us behind. For our college, which has given us a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as we take this step, next step into your world. For our teachers, who have so richly loved and cared for us, even at our worst. For our families, who have cheered us on to the finish line and stood by our sides through the many bumps in the road. And on this day especially, we thank you for the friends that we have found among our classmates, for all the jokes that we will laugh about in our years to come, for the hardships and tears we have endured together side by side, and for your love which has been made evident through the relationships we will carry with us beyond these walls. Just as our Masnod hymn says, let us continue to always show our care and thank God for his love each day. Let us love each other fearlessly and seek your will earnestly all the days of our lives. In your name we pray. Amen.
A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Now this is the word of the Lord. Have no fear, for I have paid your ransom. I have called you by name, and you are my own. When you pass through steep waters, I am with you. When you pass through rivers, they will not sweep you away. Walk through fire, and you will not be scorched. Through flames, and they will not burn you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Deliverer. Have no fear, for I am with you. You were carried by me from the womb. Till you grow old, I am your God. And when white hairs come, I will carry you still. I have made you, and I will bear the burden. I will carry you and bring you to safety. Can a woman forget the baby at her breast, or a loving mother, the child of her womb? Even if these forget, yet I will not forget you. You are always before my eyes. I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. The word of the Lord. Now for the prayers of the faithful. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our college community, that we would continue to form the minds and hearts of all the students, allowing them to grow in faith and intellect, we pray to the God, Lord, hear our prayer. For our graduates, that they would excel in everything they do, and that they would carry the love of Christ with them always. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have helped our graduates achieve greatness. For all teachers, parents, school staff, clergy, and community members, we pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially the departed oblates and old boys of our college, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own needs and intentions that we now recall in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I now invite 2022 Vice Captain of the College, Mark De Silva, to address the college. Good morning, everyone. When trying to write my speech, I thought I should include some words of wisdom with a quote from my favorite author, but then I realized I don't have a favorite author because I, I don't really read that many books, so I scrapped that idea. Um, I heard that Mr. Marlon was a fan of that because every other like college vice captain has given has started with a quote, so I hope you can appreciate that, sir. Um, to introduce myself, my name is Mark De Silva, not Tibu Collard. Um, I think it must be the curly hair um, that we both have, which causes so much confusion. Um, even though I've been at the school for six years now, and I'm pretty sure I don't have a thick French accent, um, people still manage to get us mixed up. Like, come on, guys, you all have the same haircut. I don't get you guys mixed up. Like, <laughs> when Tibu and I got announced as college captain and college vice captain, a few of my mates came up to me and declared that we were the Coco captains. Um, I, th I think it must be because we both like hot chocolate. I couldn't really come up with another reason why. Um, but anyway, that's not really important. Um, all jokes aside, I wanted to show some appreciation to the people who make Mazenod what it is. Um, the caretakers and maintenance team who make everything look aesthetically pleasing. The boarding staff who give up so much of their time for these students. The canteen staff who make the best pizza cheesies. Like, bro, those slap. They are good. The student services and admin team who administer to us all. Like, the student services team and I were like this. Like, they know me by name. I don't, they don't even have to ask me what my name is anymore when I go in. Um, it's mainly because um, 
due to the amounts of time that I checked in late because of studying late the night before. So thanks for that. Um, the support workers for all their hard work that they take part in every day um, and the IT staff who always have to deal with the miraculous cracks in our screens that probably wouldn't be there if we did what we were told and kept the laptop in its case. But it is what it is. Um, anyway, to all of you, we thank you sincerely. Your work does not go unnoticed and is a key part of what ma makes Masnod what it is. Mr. Watson, Mr. Ronan, Mr. Anderson and Mrs. Angove, thank you for guiding us through our time at Masnod. It is your leadership which provides a college which we are proud to be a part of and a place which, in, which we can always come back to. I want to give thanks to, Ms. to Father McMahon and Father Bill, who impact each student in different ways with their wisdom and mentorship in classes and masses. We are absolutely privileged to be able to have such clear access to the sacraments and knowledge that you provide. To all of our head of years over time, Mr. Donaghy, thank you for putting up with us during what was probably the cringiest time of our lives. Um, in year eight. So, Mr. Mallon, thank you for taking us through the rite of passage in year nine. Right journey allowed us to tear down those walls and start the process into becoming men. Mr. Tui, thank you for establishing, establishing clear expectations into what it truly meant to be a student of Maslow in year 10. Mr. Hemley, you drove us through that tough transition from year 10 into year 11. We had to grow up from being boys and you encouraged that by treating us like men. Thank you. Finally, Mrs. Bullich, we couldn't have thought of a better way to finish our Masnod era than by being led by the person who started it. We were truly blessed to have you as our first head of year as those less confident or maybe overconfident children in year seven. And then to have you again this year truly was a blessing. Thank you for everything that you've given us in this place, which feels like home. We wouldn't be the same without you. Um, to finish, a little word of advice to my brothers graduating with me and you all to graduate in future. Try as much as possible and aim as high as possible and you will be rewarded. If you don't trust my word, trust my boy Kanye when he said, I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. I mean, that's his philosophy and I guess he's successful. So take that however you please. Thank you all. Thank you, Mark. I now invite the college principal, Mr. Watson, to address the assembly. Thank you, Zay. Good morning, Father McMahon, OMI, Father Oosley, OMI, Ms. Mary Rattel, Chair of the Board, Mr. John Keogh, President of the Mazenold Old Boys Association. The class of 2022, parents and families, staff and students, a welcome to, to all those joining us via video link. Many centuries ago, Christians farewelled each other with the phrase, God be with you. That phrase we know today as goodbye. This morning marks our last opportunity as a whole college community to gather together and say goodbye to our graduating class. Tomorrow, the graduands before us will celebrate mass and dinner, becoming the graduating class of 2022. These last two days mark the end of the journey as a student at Mazenod, where these young boys entered to learn and now leave as young men to serve. This day has been coming for a very long time, Year 12 gentlemen, and I know you all, in your own special and unique way, have reflected on your years in schooling and your time at Mazenod. Today is certainly a celebration. Do you remember the first day at Mazenod in Year 7? in 2017. I do. Nervous. It was very cold, unseasonal days. You remember that? Three days of relentless rain. 
was very cold for February. Nervous, cold, wet, a few tears. But by recess, I was pretty good. I shared it with you, though. There you were, saying goodbye to your mum or your dad or your grandparent or older brother who had brought you to the foot of the newly opened, rebuilt Year 7-8 block. You had entered to learn. And as you've grown and journeyed through Mazenod, you have had many experiences and, you've had, and you have been a Mazenod young man, learning your full dignity and uniqueness in the eyes of God and all others through your involvement in faith formation, academia, performing, arts, creative arts, cultural activities, sport and service. You have competed, you have performed, created, debated, constructed and served. You have impressed us with your desire to learn and question, lead selflessly, engage deeply with all that is offered at the college and fathom what it is to be a good, gentle man framed by your own uniqueness. I sincerely thank you for all that you've brought to the college over the years with us. Allow your successes and experiences, good and challenging, personal and collective, to wash over you. They are part of who you are. Your journey hasn't been a solitary one, so I'd like to pay tribute to the many people who have accompanied you on this, to this point. Your parents and families have provided you with the love, care and unconditional support. I hope you find the time in the next few days to thank those cherished and close family members for all that they've done for you. Your teachers and school have been wise mentors, nurturing your talents, challenging you to be the best you can be. Remember, your personal best is always good enough. Again, take the time to say thank you to not only the dedicated teachers and staff of Mazenod who have had an impact on you, but save a moment in your heart for the many primary teachers, coaches and schools whose belief in you set you on your way to where you are now. Thank you to the Oblate Fathers and staff of Mazenod who have played a part in supporting the graduates through their journey. The leadership, care and support of our Oblate Fathers, each head of year, form teacher, subject teacher, coach, grounds and maintenance staff, IT, office staff, and boarding staff has impacted on your time at Mazenod, and I'm sure you have or will express your gratitude to these people. In particular, as the guiding pastoral team in your last year, I acknowledge head of year Mrs Bullich and form teachers Mr Delaney, Ms McKechnie, Ms Godfrey, Ms Edwards and Mr Vokes. My congratulations to the young men who have exercised leadership on your behalf, gentlemen, in 2022. Thibault, Thibault Collard, Mark De Silva, Jesse Jenkins, Thomas Dunn, Taj Ingleton, Blake Dorenzo, Darcy Greenwood, Lachlan Ives, Flynn Frossel, Zach Byfield, James Bidstrup, Drew Taylor, Robert Echeverria, Jake Lineker, Cade McEwen, Joshua Throssell, Toby Boyd Ratcliffe, Joshua Newton, and Rory Bundock. I know they share my gratitude in thanking the many young men of Year 12 who demonstrated strong leadership without a badged position. Thank you to the parents and families of Year 12 for your support of Mazenod and commitment to our goal in educating young boys to young men. You are the primary educators of your sons and I thank you for entrusting their formal education to us over the past years. Your selfless example through volunteering at school events, parent and friends activities, clubs, driving boys to and from sport and co-curricular activities is greatly appreciated. Our appreciation extends to the many grandparents who have been so involved with their grandsons during their time at Mazenod. I know at times the journey has not been smooth for all graduates and families. The joy has at times been punctuated by sorrow, great sadness and disappointment. For some of you, your son's graduation marks the end of schooling at Mazenod 
or the end of formal schooling for any of your children. Thank you and know that you continue to be Mazenodian as your son becomes a Mazenod graduate and an old boy. To the graduates of 2022, there is a significant chance you will live beyond 100 years of age and live well. By 2050, there will be 40,000 Australian centenarians. All of you will witness amazing things. You will embark on exciting careers, professional occupations and journeys that will give you independence and fulfilment. I hope several of you will choose teaching as a career, inspired by a mentor or teacher from Mazenod or your former schools. Perhaps one of you will someday be the first old boy principal of this college after amassing many experiences. Whatever life unfolds for you, take with you the following. Your name. St Eugene, through our college motto, invites us to learn who we are in the eyes of God. The invitation to discover the dignified and respected person God intends us to be. In one way, it starts with a name. In today's scripture reading from Isaiah, we heard the people of Israel struck by uncertain, difficult and troubling times. Their very existence and identity seemed in peril. Would they be pushed to the point where they ceased to exist? The reading tells us that God responded to their uncertainty by saying 12 beautiful words. Do not fear. I have called you by name. You are mine. Immediately, this has an impact on the Israelites. They are known, cherished and important. We chose this reading because it has great relevance to you. There are few things more important to a person than her or his name. In a very short while, and again tomorrow evening, you will be called by name. Now, who does not feel that sense of worth when someone bothers to use our name when talking with us? Our name was chosen with great love and care by our parents and our family. Over the course of our lives, we become used to it. It identifies us, a unique, respected and dignified person. It provides security and we draw a feeling of pride from our own name. We walk that little bit taller and feel that much more valued when we are called and recognised by name. So Year 12s, how does me talking about the importance of a name have anything to do with you right now? I know that from listening to you, that you, your time at Masnod has been one where you feel known and respected and enjoyed a sense of belonging. In being known by name, you have felt loved, important, dignified, connected, respected, secure and of great worth. St Eugene was known for celebrating Mass before dawn just so the workers whose days were long and arduous could receive the sacrament. In his way, he was dignifying and knowing the forgotten people by name. St Eugene's words, learn what you are in the eyes of God, is an understanding that God knows each of you well, will always dignify you and see you as unique, cherished and loved. Your name, gentlemen, also carries another meaning as you mature and this message of hope for you into the future. Guard jealously your name and grow it in the most positive and joyful way. You have heard many times the expression, his name was dragged through the mud, or she has a great name in the community. Your name is synonymous with a reputation, a character that takes some time to grow, but can easily suffer setbacks. Don't do anything intentionally to undermine it. Do everything you can in a healthy way to develop it. If you damage your name, work hard to restore it, not for the sake of appearances, but for the genuine you. Buttress and support that name by living according to the values you have learned at home and at school. Respect and dignity, personal excellence, courage and passion, and compassion and charity. Selflessness will be the best thing you can do for yourself 
as you will always find your better self in the service of others. St Eugene said, through the eyes of Christ we see the world. Take that sense of faith and yearning and look with the eyes of compassion, courage and charity to the people and places needing care, to those who are not known by name. And finally, leave nothing undead for the kingdom of God. Easily, I could say be daring, but it may just be recklessness unless, unless your efforts empower others and make for a better friendship, a better family, a better neighbourhood, a better relationship, a better community and life inspired by the gospel. Father Peter Daly, OMI, in his homily in here, in the opening college mass of 2017, when you were in year seven, reminded us of St Eugene's words. I have no use for smouldering wicks. I want you to burn, to give heat, to give light. To be part of the Mazenod family, either as a boy or old boy, is a life's calling to be the best you can be and to accept the responsibility to not simply be successful personally, but to ensure your giftedness and success enriches and benefits the lives of others. So the class of 2022, I wish you every success for the future. God be with you. Goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Watson. I now invite the Deputy Principal for Students, Ms. Bullich, to introduce the student leadership body from 2022 and announce the student leaders for 2023. Thank you, Zaid, and good morning. Shortly, I will invite the 2022 Year 12 student leaders up to the stage and our newly appointed 2023 leaders. But just a little bit about the selection process before we do that. It's quite a rigorous one, uh, includes student applications in term three, so boys put their intentions forward for, to become a leader. We take them away on a leadership camp um, and that allows them to display character strengths in themselves and leadership. Then they come back, we have staff and student votes and then personal interviews. So we go through the process um, and then we decide the leadership group. For many leaders um, though, this is a culmination of years of leadership that they have shown in the school. Whether it be as formal house representative, con contributions to events such as Are You OK Day, White Ribbon Day, Sustainability, Young Vinnies, they have shown great leadership over their years at the college and this is recognised. Uh, once our 2022 student leaders are up on the stage, I will then call our new leaders to be greeted by their counterparts for a ceremonial handover. Our 2023 leaders will have their um, badges blessed at our first assembly next year and they'll be commissioned. So that's when they'll receive their badges. I do ask that you please hold your applause until we have them all up on stage and then I'll invite you um, to join me in congratulating them. I'll invite Mr Watson and Ms Ango up to the stage to assist. And we will start with the prefect body and then uh, the house captains. Before I start with our prefect body, I would like to personally thank them for their leadership and service to our community. Um, not only this year, but throughout their years here. Glenn Throssell. Jesse Jenkins. Thomas Dunn. Taj Ingleton. Blake Dorenzo. Darcy Greenwood. 
Lachlan Ives, Joshua Newton, who is also the president of our Young Vinnies for 2022. Captain of Sport, Toby Boyd Ratcliffe. Captain of the Arts, Rory Bundle. Head Boarder, Zach Byfield. College Vice Captain, Mark De Silva. And our College Captain, who has led this prefect body, Thibaut Coward. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating our 2022 leaders. It is with great pleasure now that I invite our incoming 2023 leaders to the stage, uh, prefect body, for a ceremonial handover. Brendan Powell. Fletcher Roberts, Jared Henderson, Norska Cook, Riley North. Riley Ozay. Sebastian McDonald Biscoe. Captain of Sport, Ben Shanahan. Captain of the Arts, Jack Hall. Head Boarder, Elijah Roth. College Vice Captain, Damien Chukwaka. And these boys will be ably led by our college captain for 2023, Zaid Buckland. Please join me once again in congratulating our incoming and outgoing leaders. Thank you, gentlemen. I now have the pleasure of acknowledging our 2022. Um, House captains who, through a bit of a challenging start uh, COVID wise, have led their house tremendously um, with house spirit this year. For our beanie, James Bidstrup. Sabula, Drew Taylor. For Gavin, Cade McEwen.
for Gerard Roberto Echeverria. For Grondon, Jake Lineker. And for Tom Pierre, Joshua Throssell. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you and a great job as house leaders this year. I now have the great pleasure of asking our newly appointed 2023 House Captains to join us on stage. For Albini, Christian Ciccone. For Sabula, Julian Munns. For Gavin, Thomas Mortensen. For Gerard, Michael de Gasparis. For Grondon, Max Fasolo. And for Tom Pierre, Cooper Saw Giovanni. Please join me in congratulating our new leaders. Guys, you stay. I'll ask our new leaders to depart, but we'll keep our uh, 2022 leaders up here because the Mazinod Trophy comes next. So they'll be eagerly awaiting the results of that. Right, so once again, the number of event, events held for the Mazenod Trophy was impacted by the surging COVID in WA, most notably the House Triathlon um, and the ever popular tug of war had to uh, be cancelled on the last day of term one. Despite that, though, there were many hotly contested events um, involving academic, sporting, cultural, charity, many activities. Having finished second last year, Albini would have been hoping to go that one step further this year. And they started perfectly, taking the first major event of the year, the House Swimming Carnival. So off to a good start. They showed their versatility by taking out the pie competition, raising the most money through their stalls on Mas Mazenod Mission Day, and they performed strongly in the House Athletics and the Chess Competition. Sabula, despite their small member numbers, once again showed that amazing traditional Sabula fighting spirit taking out both of the year 11 sporting events, as well as performing strongly in the year seven dodgeball. And they were very close runners up in the MMD jigsaw competition. Gavin showed their all round ability across all years, taking out the year eight footy tipping, the house athletics and the chess competition. Their successes could be attributed to the very high participation rate that the house leaders were able to orchestrate. So well done. Gerard had their moment in the sun in the hot in the house cross country and the very hotly contested UNO competition. They also performed strongly in the year eight cahoot and footy tipping. Seems that Gerard's talents lay in the intellectual pursuits. So our Gerard leader for this year will have to make an early start on some of the sporting events. Brondon showed that there was hope for the, the future with their younger house members starring in the year seven dodgeball and the year, year eight Kahoot competitions, as well as the house leaders winning the MMD Jigsaw event. They're also on the podium for the year seven tables competition. And finally, Tom Pierre, who after finishing sixth last year, would have been hoping for greater success this year. The year sevens shone in the tables competition and Tom Pierre also took out the very important DNT Craftsman of the Year award. 
The Tompier Year 11s also performed well in both events for their year group and the mathematicians in the house finished a close second in the pie competition. So what we've all been waiting for, the final scores. In sixth position on 545 points, Sabula. In fifth position on 655 points, Gerard. When I announce the equal third position, uh, those of you in the winning house will know. Uh, third position on equally on 685 points, Rondon and Albini. So in a convincing victory, 80 points clear of any other team, the 2022 Mazenod Trophy for the second year in a row goes to Gavin. Thank you, Cade and House Captains. Well done. We might move that to a safer place. Thank you, gentlemen. Now comes to the part of the assembly where we turn our attention to our guests of honour, the graduating class of 2022, for whom I have had the absolute pleasure and privilege of being the head of year when they started in year seven and then again this year. And I thank them all sincerely. As I call on each member of the graduating class of 2022, they will receive their statement of results as well as their Mazenod Old Boys certificate and tie the, um, from the principal of the college, Mr. Andrew Watson, and the president of the Mazenod Old Boys Association, Mr. John Keogh, assisted by Mr. Jeremy Logan. We'll start with 12A, Campbell Anderson. Darcy Appleby. Yes, that is what you looked like in year seven, gentlemen. Jackson Ball. Zach Byfield. Reeve Chester. Wesley Conti. Aidan Costa. Thomas Dunn. Roberto Echeverria. Jonathan Gracias, Travis Kenny, Rocco Kudre. Luca Masella. Nicholas Merlo. Jackson Miller. Thomas Ring. Pat 
Patrick Rose. Luke Sayer. Xavier Stockich. Drew Taylor. Nathan Taylor. Carl Thomas. Joshua Throssell. <laughs> Logan Witt. The boys from 7B, Jacob Balcom. Cooper Brown. Rory Bundock. Ben Burette. Connor Casey. Robert Charlebois Kemp. Dylan de Toro. Luke Engbury. Jack Jamelli. Ryan Godden. Darcy Greenwood. Connor Hardy. Luke Hocking. Thomas Hunt. Jake Lineker. Jonathan Mance. Ashton McGowan. Corey Nunn. Joel Paul. Brock Ramirez. Liam Rooney.
Bamarovis Taylor. Lynn Throssell. Jared Watts. <laughs> and Jacob Wan. The boys of 12C now, Joshua Arena. Tane Batcham. Lachlan Cameron. Bryce Castle. Ben de Guzman. Jesse Dyer. Nelson Ellis. Kai Evans. Drew Hellemans, James Hickey, Lachlan Ives, Luke Jones. Lucas Lovell. Rowan Martin. Callum McKinley. And Tyler Murray. Adam Orchard. Mitchell Peters, Blake Pinker, Martin Rochella, Jaden Rosario. Oliver Ryan. Mathis Talassi. Jack Jackie Van Wardenberg.
and Sean Woodburn. The boys of 12D, Jacob Allen. James Bidstrup. Toby Boyd Ratcliffe. Your Hunter Ball. Kind Della Posta. Brock Duncan. Harry Dunleavy. Aidan Hughes. Connor McEwen. Cade McEwen. <laughs> Jack Mount Bryson. <laughs> Joshua Newton. Luke Nichols, <coughs> Liam Pabst, Evan Kurt, Jordan Rats, Christopher Shearn. <laughs> Harrison Sterrett Jay Valletta William Worsley. <laughs> Travis Wildsmith. And Mark Williams.
And now the boys of 12A, Dylan Bagley. Alexander Baker. Joshua Bartlett. Declan Boland. Elliot Campbell. Brooke Chontrans. Thibaut Collard. Blake Dorenzo. Nicholas Dow. Mark to Silva. Luke Fabriziani. Matthew Hooper. Taj Ingleton. Hamish Irving. Thomas Jeffries. Jesse Jenkins. Felix Lawson. Matthew Schultz. We acknowledge Nicholas Snare in his absence. He couldn't be with us this morning. Jack Tapley. Jonathan Turner. Adam Visser. and Aaron West. Would now like to call on 
Thibaut Collard, a college captain, to deliver his address. My bad. Good morning, everyone. Today we are here to celebrate the journey, the six-year journey of 119 boys, Masnot boys, who today stand before you as Masnot men. Six years ago, we came through these doors as low-grade donuts. Yep, low-grade donuts. A little bit stuffy and a little bit dry and the melted glazing sticking everywhere on the box. But don't we all have to be a stuffy donut at some point? It's a growing phase. We all have to go through it to someday being close to being a Krispy Kreme. We all came here as quite short 11 and 12 year olds and poof, here we are today. And I'm still short. Parents, those babies you have dropped off on the first day of school and didn't want to let go, well, ta-da, 119 grown-ups standing before you on this stage proudly. 119 Krispy Kreme donuts. We grew up today for the, we grew up for the help of all the staff. Mr. Connell with his spirit six sugar spikes and his little bargain, I give you sugar and you give me attention. Not sure who were the real winners there. Or when Miss Bullish stands at the top of the year 12 stairs and hands out chopper chops. And every one of the teachers and head of years who somehow managed to deal with us and get us to the point where we can graduate today. First of all, I would like to point out that we, the class of 2022, are the first to get the double Bullish. Having her in, as a year seven head of year and a year 12 head of year has been exceptional. Every day she would walk past forms and check up upon us. I think she was also checking for mullets or perms or patchy facial hair that wasn't supposed to be there, but oh well. While we all still remember the fond times of Mr. Donaghy in year eight in learning mathematically, when the squan was a great hit, or year nine with Mr. Mallon, it still surprises me how I spend more time at school than out of school. And year 10 with Mr. Tui, who really managed to introduce us to the real life as upper school students. And finally, Year 11 with Mr. Hemley, who pushed us to be greater leaders. And I'm sure you've heard this quote before, but if you haven't, just wait till Year 11 leadership camp. You don't need a badge to be a leader. Mr. Hemley sure taught us that, until he had to migrate to the Year 7 block, where I'm sure he enjoys the walk up and back every morning. To all the teachers who have managed to guide us for six years of school, some, sometimes having to spice up lessons for educational purposes, like Mrs. Godfrey's imitation of a particle to teach particle motion, or Mrs. Kiff's infinite love of Christmas and having a tree up already and decorated. Our form teachers, who were the first faces we saw in the morning, who taught us how to set ourselves up for the day. A special mention to my form teacher, Mr. Vokes. You can look over here, sir. Um, you still remember the fact that I struggled to show up on important events. And uh, look, sir, I made it today. To our parents, who sh we sure took the endless rides and the pack lunches, the clean uniforms, the new clothes, and all the accessories that we ever needed as a given. Trust me, those uh -huh, yeah, okay, good, and cheers really mean that we are thankful for everything you have done for us. Thank you for allowing us to grow and to flourish by letting us go. But we sure will come back for lunch and pop by and say hello, because we are so grateful for you and for all the hard work that goes unnoticed. You can be proud of yourselves. You have al allowed 119 of those kids to become who they are today. You taught us how to make sacrifices, like the choice of healthy food versus a KFC Zinger box. You taught us how to take the little steps on the way to achieving our goals. And you simply taught us the beauty of life. Life as a seafood diet. That simply implies seeing food and eating it. You showed us to go for it, to commit, and to seize what we want, because the only person that, can, that knows if we can achieve something is ourselves. To the year 12 students, I'm not going to be cliche and say thank you, but we should have grown a lot together. It has been a major pleasure to lead you this year. We have a lot of different personalities in this cohort, but somehow we managed to fit together as pieces of a puzzle, as cliche as that might sound. Salted popcorn and maple syrup, for example, you must try it. The coarse and sharp taste of salt, stepped down by the sweetness and caramel taste of maple syrup, complement each other, just like we do. We are all different. But when we are together, we push and we strengthen each other. 
we create something amazing, something that no one believed could have been achieved. We can also think of it as the many different ways of cooking a steak, blue, rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well done. This cohort has been soaked with the gift of diversity, and the fact that we can accept each other and grow into these amazing young men standing here today shows to the world that Mazinot has taught us well. Finally, I wish you all well. While many of you hope that I stop talking so that they can go on, and your teachers and parents and family can cry while we all leave the gym as quickly as possible, I hope you all achieve what you set out for yourself, that you may find love in everything you do as much as I love food. Go out in this world as proud Mazinot men and live by the values you have so long grown in. Remember to keep moving forward because you can't cling to the past because no, ma no matter how tightly you hold on, it's already gone. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time, the class of 2022. I would now like to introduce the musical item for today. Mr. Graham's music class have adapted and arranged a song by Dr. Dog to reflect on their time at Mazenod and to ponder on their hopes for the future. A question that we are all asking as we look back on our school years is, where'd all the time go? Where'd all the time go? It's starting to fly.
dressed up like a pillow, so we're always in bed. COVID's messing with our heads, but we survive. With all the skills that we can get, we'll come alive. With hopes about the past, we'll dread. And when the dark strikes the schooners are rolling, they come in the pink of the night. Thank you, gentlemen. The words were amazing. The Year 7 cohort will now form a guard of honour for the graduating class of 2022. This tradition carries great significance in that on the first day of the school year, it was the Year 12s and the Year 7s only. On this day, the Year 12s visited the Year 7s in their form rooms and they helped them with many of those things that pose challenges. Completing tasks such as understanding how to read the timetable, learning how to use a padlock, ways in which to organise your locker. Many Year 7 students have reflected on this day over the years as a great way to start their Mazenod journey and life as Mazenod students. So now, on this last day of school for our Year 12s, it is befitting that the Year 7 cohort form a guard of honour just as the Year 12s formed a guard of honour outside the gym to welcome the Year 7s to their very first whole school assembly of 2022. This is a time when we congratulate the wonderful Year 12 cohort for the positive contribution they have made to the Mazenod College community. We send them off with our love and prayers as lifetime members of our community. Staffs, students, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you all to be upstanding. When you and for the, the final time, it is with the greatest of pleasure and pride that I present to the Masnod College community, the graduating class of 2022. And be afraid. Of the dark, at the end of the storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of the love. Walk on through the wind. Walk on through the rain. For your dreams be tied. I'm blown. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart, and you never
Please be seated. Thank you to everyone for your participation in the farewell assembly. We hope that it was all a special moment for all the Year 12s and their families. Parents are invited to join us in the quadrangle area for morning tea. Thank you everyone. Good morning.